Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to Ezekiel chapter 35. This is going to be a continuation of the Ezekiel commentary series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And people, this world today, oh boy, it looks like twilight to me. Looks like the light is getting ready to extinguish. Uh, if you click on my name, you'll go to the home page of YouTube and you'll see in the middle, towards the top, it says community. Hit the community page. Boy, today was a big story day. Sometimes, uh... There's just, you know, maybe one story or two. Today, there was a bunch of posts, a bunch of really interesting news. And uh, uh, that one that's out in uh, the West that sent me some of these stories, thank you very much. You know who you are. Um, some of the stories I find on my own, others people send me. So thank you for sending me this stuff so I can share it with uh, <laughs> basically the remnant, which is small, very small. And uh, it's sad. I've given up. I gave up looking for a church about 15 years ago. Really sad. But it's the way it is. Yep, Walmart's open. Abortion clinics are open. Liquor stores are open. But they're closing down the churches. I wonder if the sin of Gog, plural, and the um, moss are closed. Haven't heard anything about them, have you? Mm -mm, no. No, they just want to close the churches, it seems. So, uh yeah, something like that. So, all right, well, Ezekiel chapter 35. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Now what in the world is the Lord talking about here? Mount Seir, a mountain named Seir, S-E-I-R. Well, in the first place, uh, when you do a Bible lookup, for example, the King James Bible Online .org, um, I used to really like this thing. I used to do volunteer work on there and answer questions and stuff. But uh, there's a lot of, uh, in their comments section, uh, they have a lot of devils that go to these Christian sites and post lies and disinformation. But... Uh, they banned Chaplain Bob. <laughs> Believe it or not, they banned Chaplain Bob. There was a guy who says that God wants us to love everyone. And I asked him if he loves Satan. And uh, they banned me for that. Seriously. Um, you banned a chaplain for asking somebody if they love Satan, telling that we're supposed to, you know, guys telling everybody we're supposed to love everybody. Are we supposed to love Satan? I don't think so. And why am I bringing this up now? Well, because in Malachi chapter 1, God said he hated Esau. And if I remember correctly, Romans, uh, Paul confirms that in the book of Romans. And where was Esau's dwelling place? The mountain called Seir, Mount Seir. But in Genesis 14, 6, the first time 
in the Bible where Seer appears. And when you use the King James Bible online or the Blue Letter Bible, which I don't like the Blue Letter Bible anymore, uh, it's got some great tools, but it's associated with Chuck Missler, who was a founding member, uh, from what I remember, of Calvary Chapel. And I don't know. It's sad, though. You know, it's, you can't even ask if somebody loves Satan. Oh, we're supposed to love everybody. Oh, really? Do you love Satan? And they ban me. I guess that's we're not supposed to ask that kind of stuff. But I bet you the guy that loves Satan, I bet you he's still on there and not banned. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Genesis 14.6. And the Horeites, what a name, huh? Horeites. I think I dated one or two of them in high school. And the Horeites in their Mount Seir unto El Paran, which is by the wilderness. So the Horeites, if memory serves me correctly, and don't quote me on this, I think they were part of the Canaanites. And the Canaanites were from Genesis 6, after the flood, when the sons of God, the fallen angels, intermarried with the daughters of men, the human women, and they had giants. But not all the Canaanites were giants. Uh, there's a story where um, Joshua, who took over for Moses after Moses died, a uh, bunch of the Canaanites came unto him and said, Oh, we're from a far country and we, we want to be friends with you. Uh, make a covenant with us. Make a league with us. Make an agreement with us. And jo jo uh, Joshua didn't check with the Lord. He just said, Oh, okay, you guys want to worship the Lord like we do. No problem. We'll be friends. And then later they found out that they were of the bad seed. So, yeah. And anybody that doesn't believe that, that thing about Genesis 6, I got an entire playlist on it. The angels that sinned. And if you can go through that and then tell me that the sons of God were just godly men who intermarried with these ungodly women and had giants for children. And then God says to go in and kill them all. You know, destroys the earth in the flood, and then after the flood, tells him to go in and kill all everybody that's in the cities of the Canaanites. Kill them all. Women, children, everybody. Kill them all. Uh, if you want to believe that fairy tale, well, then go join a demon nominational church and uh, worship the uh, Antichrist over in the Middle East. What can I tell you? I don't do that. One day I'm going to have to answer to the Lord for every word that I've ever taught. And I've been wrong of, on some things, but I'll tell you what. I'm not wrong now on most everything. That's why I don't stray far from what I can prove in the Bible. I try not to stray far. Or I'll tell you, well, this is what I think, my opinion, I could be wrong. Because, you know, if somebody knows better than me, great, show me. Because I'm always open to learning. It's not thus saith Bob Walker. It's thus saith the Lord God. All right. Who was who was uh, Esau tied into Mount Seir? Well, that's in Genesis 32 and verse 3. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother. Now remember, Malachi 1 God said he hated Esau. Why? Oh, that's because he sold his birthright for a bowl of beans. Well, that's partly true, but he, Esau married Canaanites. He married the Hittite women, two of them. They were of the Canaanite tribes. He polluted his seed line with poison. That don't sound right, Chaplain Bob. Well, whatever, you know. When you've studied the Bible for as many hours as I have, uh, maybe you'll figure it out, you know, instead of just quoting John 3.16, you know. 
I've spent a lot of time. You know what? Turn off your television. And you'll be shocked at what you uh, learn. You know, I've only bought two televisions in my entire life. And the first one I bought, um, it was a neighbor that I liked. And the only reason I bought it from him is because he needed some money to go back home. And I felt sorry for him. So I gave him 50 bucks, if I remember correctly. I didn't really want it, but... And then uh, I bought another TV to just for uh, the weather and stuff and doing research. You know, seeing where they're hurting us. Not hurt as an in injure, but herd, H-E-R-D, as in which way they're trying to push the flock. So, and Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau his brother unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. So Esau is Edom, um, and he lives in the land of Seir. Genesis 36, verse 8. And we just read Genesis 32, 3. So let's read Genesis 36, 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Uh, and then verse 9. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. And oh, by the way, if you don't believe me about uh, Esau, I've got an entire Bible study on why God hated Esau. An entire Bible study. I think it's an hour long. I mean, you know, these people that don't read the book of Genesis, and then they think the Bible starts in the book of Matthew, well, what can I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, you think you can watch a, uh, the last 15 minutes of a movie and know what's going on? Or read the last chapter of a book and you know what's going on? I don't think so. You need to start from the beginning. But I don't watch movies, so I'm just using that as an example because that's what the world loves, right? Let's start at verse 1 again. Ezekiel 35, 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Uh, from what I understand, the, that city of Petra, I believe, from what I understand, that's that was part of uh, Esau's uh, children's, uh, one of their cities, Petra. And now it's desolate. Verse 5. Listen to this. Well, verse 4, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Can you imagine that? Esau was the brother of Jacob. Jacob Israel. And they hated Israel. They hated them. Verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Uh, basically, death is going to pursue them. 
Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. So those that leave and those that come back are both going to get cut off. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers. Shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Verse 9. And I will make the perpetual desolations. What does perpetual mean? Uh, it means forever. You ever heard of a perpetual motion machine? And thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast said, these two nations... And these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. What two nations? The nation of uh, Edom and the nation of Israel. I mean, let's face it. Babylon had taken uh, Israel away. So Esau says, well, hey, they're gone. So let's move in and move into their territory and take it over. Verse 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to mine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth, thus with your mouth, have ye boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me, I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be a desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do mea. I do me as just another name for Edom. Even all of it. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Let's read Malachi 1. Verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. You know, there's people who tell you that that word hated is mistranslated in the King James Bible. It's wrong. What it really means is that the Lord loves Esau a little, 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 teeny, tiny bit less than Jacob. Oh, really? Is that what that means? Wow, I'm so glad that we got Bible scholars that were more knowledgeable than the people that put together the King James Bible. Well, that word hate is the same word for hate in Proverbs 8.13, where it says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Well, I guess we're just supposed to love evil just a little, 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 tiny little bit less, huh? The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. 
How about Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16? These six things doth the Lord love a little tiny little bit less. Uh, no. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hand, hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and a false witness that speaks lies is not some tiny little matter. Because if you had two false witnesses, you could actually have somebody put to death under the Old Testament law. Oh, I saw them performing witchcraft. What was the penalty? Death. Oh, he blasphemed the Lord. Penalty? Death. I mean, you know, think about it. Oh, I saw him kill somebody. You know, you killed him, but you're going to blame it on somebody else, you and your partner. Then, then they end up dead because of your false witness and lying tongue. That's why God calls it, he says he hates it, and he says it's an abomination unto him. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. That sounds like a lot of churches I know. So, let's go back to Malachi 1. Yeah, let's read the whole thing. Verse 1, the burden of the Lord, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. And I hated Esau. No, he didn't love him a little bit less. He hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. Mount Seir. And what is the heritage? Uh... Gee, Chaplain Bob, that's a good question. What is heritage, a man's heritage? Well, that's why I like the King James Bible. Because the Bible explains the Bible, if you let it. The King James, anyways. What's a man's heritage? Psalms 127, verse 3. Lo, children... Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Wow. Malachi 1, verse 3, And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. Well, Esau did that when he married into the Canaanites. And, I, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste, for the dragons of the wilderness. What? What do you mean dragons of the wilderness? So what's up with that dragon? Well, Revelation 20 and verse 2. And he laid hold on the dragon. That old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. And bound him a thousand years. See, the Bible explains the Bible. King James, if you let it. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Oh yeah, we're going to return back to the Middle East and we're going to we're going to rebuild. We're going to Plant a tree for the you-know-whos. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness. And the people against whom 
The Lord hath indignation forever. What is indignation? It means extreme hatred. The people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Oh, but Chaplain Bob, John, John 3.16 says God loves everybody now. Well, then rip out the Old Testament and throw it in the garbage. That's all, that's all I can tell you. Ever heard of the book of Obadiah? Chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Now remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. Wow, what is stubble? Oh, uh, that's something you burn. And they shall kindle in them. You ever heard of kindling a fire? And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord hath spoken it. And of course, uh, if you listen to the black Hebrews, they'll say, oh yeah, that, that be the whitey guy. Yeah, there ain't going to be no whitey guys left. We're going to kill them all. Because they say we are Esau. That's funny. The, the white people that built all the churches over in Europe, the, printed all the Bibles, sent missionaries all over the world, the people that, you know, every time there was a natural disaster, uh, well, maybe in the last hundred years, it's always been white countries that sent food. But, but we're Esau. Yeah, if you listen to them. We fed the world. And then you go to what they call Zimbabwe, which was Rhodesia, which used to export food. And then they killed or ran off all the white farmers. And then they were crying and complaining they don't have any food. Well, that's what happens when you kill your farmers, you bunch of dumb monkeys. And now they're doing the same thing in South Africa. Wish I was in charge. I'd let them starve. Oh, well, that's harsh, Chaplain Bob. Well, you know, kill your farmers. You know, if you got a plan and, and the plan don't work, uh, maybe you should give up the plan. Or look at what other people did. But all these are judgments against us because we have turned our back on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. All these curses are coming upon us. I think it's in Numbers 33, but uh, yeah. All right, well, that's, I hope you learned something. God's not very happy with Esau. And oh, by the way, if you can find on the internet, the 1925 edition of the Jewish Encyclopedia, it will clearly say that Edom is in modern Jewry today. Yes, I read it. But you know what? You can't find it anymore. It's been totally scrubbed from the internet. I cannot find the 1925 edition of the Jewish Encyclopedia. And another thing, too, the Russian Re Communist Russian Revolution in Russia, 1917, 1925 Encyclopedia had a very interesting article on communism where they admit that, um, uh, let's just say they were very, very well represented in that little thing. And um, under communism, Millions of Christians were murdered. Yeah. They had a perpetual hatred for Jacob, Israel. And if you want to think that the Antichrist over in the Middle East or Jacob, Israel, hey, go for it. But uh, if your theology doesn't work out, uh, hey, not my fault. 
So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessing, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.